a new day dawns with ripples in Jurong Lake in the western part of Singapore. The Chinese garden stands on one of the islands in Jurong Lake. A visitor crosses the red bridge at the eastern entrance of the Chinese garden. Apparently concerned with safety, a long-tailed macaque examines intently one of the pillars of the red bridge. Long-tailed macaques are native to Singapore, but they are sighted only occasionally around Jurong Lake. On one side of the red bridge, a large-tailed nightjar shuts eyes after an intense night of activities. Large-tailed nightjars are nocturnal creatures. They feed on night-flying insects at dusk. On the other side of the red bridge, a yellow bittern balances delicately between the stems of plants at the edge of the lake. Yellow bitterns are small herons. They like to skulk in tall plants in water. Not too far away from the red bridge, a content-looking white-collared kingfisher perches on power lines in the garden, after catching and consuming a prey from the lake. Other than fishes, white-collared kingfishers prey on other small creatures, such as insects and worms. At the west side of the Chinese garden, a coppersmith barbet stands guard near a tree trunk with a hole. She protects and gives food to her young ones living in the hole. She takes out rubbishes. She does house cleaning to ensure that her young ones live in a clean and healthy environment. She carries out her parenting duties, until the day when her young ones are ready to venture out on their own. <coughs> coppersmith barbets get their name for their call that resembles the sound made by a coppersmith beating a metal with a hammer. They are also known as crimson-breasted barbets. A male common flameback pecks at a tree near the lake. Common flamebacks are woodpeckers commonly sighted in the Chinese garden. The female common flamebacks have black crowns instead of red ones. Near the Japanese garden, a tricolored squirrel freezes momentarily before scurrying up a tall tree. Tricolored squirrels are highly agile. They jump very quickly from one tree to another. The Double Beauty Bridge connects the Chinese Garden to the Japanese Garden, which is located on another island in Jurong Lake. The Japanese garden is home to the gray herons. They build their nests high up in trees near the lake.
The lotus and lily ponds, in the Japanese garden, are favorite haunts of animals. A little heron perches on floating lotus leaves. Also known as green-backed herons, little herons are small herons, at less than half a meter tall. A purple heron forages near a water lotus pond. Purple herons are evasive creatures. As they prefer more densely vegetated habitats near the edge of water, they are less commonly sighted than the gray herons or the little herons in the Japanese garden. This milky stork, probably from the nearby Jurong Bird Park, is a frequent visitor to the Japanese garden. A stork-billed kingfisher perches on the railing of a building in the Japanese garden, to look at the fishes in the pond below. Stork-billed kingfishers are the largest kingfishers native to Singapore. An otter swims playfully in the water lily pond in the Japanese garden. Otters are occasionally sighted in the Chinese and Japanese gardens and in Jurong Lake. The White Rainbow Bridge links the Chinese garden to Lakeside Garden. The bridge is located at the west entrance of the Chinese garden. Visitors to Lakeside Garden may walk along the western side of Jurong Lake from north to south. The Japanese garden may also be accessed from Lakeside Garden. The three gardens are collectively known as Jurong Lake Gardens. A water monitor emerges from the water near the edge of Jurong Lake. Water monitors are a common sight along the edge of Jurong Lake at Lakeside Garden. They are shy creatures. When they sense the presence of human beings, they would rush to return to the water in the lake. A red-eared slider swims in a pond at Lakeside Garden. Red-eared sliders are turtles native to North America. They are commonly sighted in ponds in the gardens by the lake. A blue winged pitta forages on dead leaves in Lakeside Garden. Blue winged pittas feed on mainly insects and worms. The grasslands, at Lakeside Garden, is a favorite haunt of small birds, such as the paddy field pipit, the scaly breasted munia, and the cutthroat finch. Hiding in the grass is a paddy field pipit. A scaly breasted munia perches on grass flowers. Flanked by two female companions, a male cutthroat finch goes on holiday in the grasslands. An Asian open bill stork flies above the grasslands. 
Around Christmas of 2019, thousands of Asian open bill storks were sighted flying across Singapore. Normally, they foraged in paddy fields in countries such as Thailand and Vietnam. However, because of drought, the Asian open bill storks migrated southward in search of greener pastures. Some of them chose to forage near the edge of Jurong Lake and Lakeside Garden for most part of 2020. Abundance of food, in and around the lake, is the main reason for animals to be in the gardens. A mollusk from Jurong Lake for the Asian open bill stork. A small fish for the gray heron. Fruit for the tricolored squirrel. Insect for the white collared kingfisher. A fish from Jurong Lake for the otter. With the sun setting over the lake, yet another day has passed by for the animals in the gardens.